let's talk about database and tables and all that kind of fun stuff. This is an important lesson. All my lessons are important, right? Uh, well, this is really important because uh, you're going to see questions about relational databases your entire career as a data professional. And many of these questions are what are called softball or starter questions for interviews. Technical interviews can go from very easy to very difficult very quickly. And these are always the foundation questions. All right, so let's get started. So what is, this is a database, obviously. It's a data, it's a database. What is a database? A database is a container, it's a container for objects. That is all it is. That's it. That's the definition. If someone asks you, what's a database? It's a container for objects. That, that is the definition. All right. Well, what are some of those objects? Well, the most important is obviously the table, because without the table, the database is worthless. All the other objects aren't worth a damn. All right. So we've got a database and it is composed of tables. It's composed of many tables and tables are laid out and this is a, a row. A row. This is a column. All right, so we have rows and we have columns. All right, let's talk about this idea. All right, this whole thing is called structured. Let me see if I can get my pen down here. This is called structured data. Why is it called structured data as opposed to unstructured data? Well, because we define what goes in each one of these columns. All right, so we have a one in the first. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll just call this the header. This will be the header, and then because I can't write in this with my pen. And this will be the first row, and this will be the second row. So we have a one in this row and a two in this row. All right, so what if we want to put an A in this row? Mm, nope, can't do it. Why? Because we defined what that column, this column, was going to be by using a thing called a data type. And the data type for this is an int or an integer. So the only thing we can put in it is a one or a two. Now, what if we come over here and say this, we're going to say this, this column here, which is really a column two. We're going to call this an A, B, and a C, and a D, E, and an F. All right, so those are letters. Well, it's no longer numbers then, right? We could, we could put a one or a two in there with it, but it's no longer solely numbers. It is letters and numbers. All right, this, right, is going to be called a var char or a char. And there are differences between var char and char. Right, so that's not important. What's important for this lesson is we define what goes into this table, and it's called structured data because we give it the definition for every single one of these columns. Right, that's why it's called structured data. We know what we can hold. All right, and this structure, this table structure is 95%, easily 95% of all real world data, of all real world data you're gonna model and work with, all right? All right, so what are our takeaways from this? All right, let's just stop there. We got a lot going on and all this stuff you're gonna to have to memorize and know. So what are the takeaways? Definition of database, there it is. That's your answer for any time someone asks you what a database is. It doesn't matter what the vendor is, whether it's Microsoft, SQL Server, Postgres, MySQL, whatever you want to throw at it. This is the definition of a database, right? Databases have lots of things in them, right? However, the number one thing they have in them are these tables, all right? Database composed of tables, got it? They're made of columns and rows, right? It's called structured data as opposed to unstructured data. Yes, there is unstructured data. We're not going to talk about it here. We're talking about structured data. We're talking about tabular data. We're talking about tables in a relational database, right? We call it this structured data, right? Because we define what's going to be in every one of those columns. And we do that with data types. And if we're going to store ones and twos and numbers, it's called an integer. And a way to store letters is through this data type called varchar. 
Again, you're going to have to know all of this, right? Because these are softball questions for any data role. 